They feel as if they are smothering. They can't get enough air. My life was constant hell. 48-year-old Jim Quinlan is one of 24 million Americans diagnosed with asthma. When you can't breathe, there's nothing worse. Except maybe hearing over and over, there is no cure. I'd have asthma the rest of my life. But he proved his doctors wrong. Like most asthmatics, Jim was getting by with pills, sprays, and steroid inhalers. He needed it all just to keep breathing. I hated using that inhaler. 13 years ago, his medicines failed him. An asthma attack sent him into cardiac arrest. I remember some of the last gasps of breath. When paramedics arrived, it was almost too late. My heart wasn't beating at all. Jim was lucky to survive, but every year, 5,400 other Americans die from asthma. I had to do something radical. After years of searching, Jim stumbled across the research of Dr. David Hahn of the University of Wisconsin. I just breathe normally. Hahn's theory that asthma isn't always caused by allergies, that it's often triggered by a form of chlamydia that targets the lungs. The implication? Antibiotics could be a cure. Colleagues like lung specialist Dr. William Young couldn't be more skeptical. Infections do not precipitate asthma attacks. So... You know, we don't use antibiotics to treat asthma. But Dr. Hahn's a maverick. His prescription? Three months of an antibiotic called Zithromax. Normally, you'd take it less than a week. My reaction was, this is another quack. But Han says since the early 1990s, he's treated hundreds of severe asthmatics, and after an average of 12 weeks on antibiotics... 50% of them had uh, either complete eradication of asthma symptoms or major improvement. Jim had to try it. It took almost a year for the results to sink in. One day I just all of a sudden realized my asthma is totally gone. After 10 years of suffering... No medicine. No asthma. Jim's website, asthmastory.com, documents his experience and that of other asthmatics who also got better. A closer look at Dr. Hahn's research has started to sway Dr. Young. You know, we have found that there are bacterial uh, re relationships to many illnesses that we never thought that were related to bacteria. For example, there's a relationship between chlamydia and heart disease. And if Dr. Hahn is right about asthma, this will be huge. And it could send huge shockwaves through the drug industry. Asthma is one of the biggest cash cows for the drug makers. Jim estimates 10 years of asthma drugs cost $40,000. Compare that to 600 for the Zithromax he says cured him. Han suspects widespread acceptance of his research is at least 10 years away. So until then, websites like Jim's may be the only way to get the word out that there might be an alternative to a lifetime of asthma drugs. Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.